All right, hey everyone, Gorm here, and welcome back to Lord of the Rings Online. Today we're gonna be back in the village of Comb, I believe it's called. Yeah, as the as it gets really late in game, and kind of gets a little bit later in real life. It's almost sunset right now, so this will be a lot of fun. I'll be able to get some recordings out this weekend uh, for the week ahead. So uh, now the real challenge of playing this game and recording is getting the headphones on without messing up my hair any further. So let's give it a shot, and we'll see if it works. It probably will not. Yeah, that's not... Eh. Not really what I wanted to happen. Eh. It's, of course, everything's the opposite. All right, there we go. Now let's get into this. So in the town center, one thing you always want to do in this game is get the stable masters unlocked, which is something I didn't do in the last episode. So now that I have that done, ah, geez, I need to cough bed. I need to go into the Comb and Waddle Inn to speak with Lisbeth Hunmead, who was sent, who we were sent to, I mean to say, by John Brackenbrook in Archer. And it said there was a strange man looking for us in Archit. And he is currently here. As so Elizabeth Honeymead is the tavern keep. Alright, I got it. Oops. Greetings, friend. Oh my, look here, a real live hero. It's not often we get such respectable folk through here. My, how my tongue runs on. Torodan told me to send you upstairs to his room as soon as you arrived. Uh, the stairs are across the room there, and Torodan's is the door at the end of the hall. He said you shouldn't delay none. Hello there. Keep it quiet that I have one of them Northmen here. The Coman Wattle is normally a nice place. Oh, you don't like the Northmen, do you? What are you, racist? Alright, I can't use that word on YouTube, right? Ah, oh, dang it. Uh, I'll ignore it. You know what? Nobody's gonna watch this series anyway. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'll ignore it. Yeah, they don't let you use certain words on YouTube because YouTube is run by a bunch of, uh, what is it? German Workers' Party individuals. See, I saved myself on that one. That works great. Okay. And Torodan is right here. Let's speak with Torodan. Greetings. The hero of Archer, I suppose. I am pleased to finally meet you. I am sorry for the cryptic summons, but I dared not betray my whereabouts to just anyone. There is much we need to discuss. Will you hear me? Could I speak with you a moment? Thank you for your aid, Gormson. My kindred and I were driven from the bounds of the Shire by the Nazgul of Mordor. Oh, we're allowed to just mention no Mordor like that in the middle of nowhere, but I can't say certain things on YouTube? Nightmare. Oh, oh, Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> they pursued us eastward and slew many of us. It was my goal to join Amdia, but I've heard rumor of his fate in Archon. They say he was stabbed with a Mogul knife and led off by some evil men, the ones who lent the Black Wolves aid. There are few left now with power over such wounds, and those I know of dwell some distance from here. We must find Amdir and quickly if we are to save him. He is likely being held by the Black Wolves somewhere in the Chetwood. We must find a way to enter their lair and free him, but first we must find them. Speak with Constable Underhill. He may be of help. You can usually find him outside, near the Coman Wattle. Once you have learned of the Black Wolves' lair and believe you can gain entry, turn to me. Hurry before it's too late. The next hobbit that looks at me funny, I'll break his hairy feet. I can't fight these guys, they're called ruffians. I can't, like... Ah, that sucks. You know, if you name them ruffians, you think I'd be able to fight them or something, but... no, nah, they don't let me have fun. There are a few other quests around town that take us out that way, so let's accept some of these, too. Stay a moment. I'm sorry, my mind is miles away. I didn't see you there. Did you help fight off the brigands? My dad did. He, he, Kale chokes back a sob. During the Black Wolves raid on Archit, someone broke into our house and stole many of our things. I don't care about most of them, but they took my dad's favorite fishing pole. I don't care if I get anything else back, but he wouldn't have wanted some filthy brigand to have it. Now that I've moved here to Comb, I've been meaning to ask Constable Wren if she could track it down for me. Could you ask her if she has any idea where it might be taken? 
She'll be at the guardhouse on the hill east of Co. We'll do that. Uh, who's this? I'm sure it will do no good, but may I Oops. speak with you? I bet. Pardon me, do you think you could take... I could take up some of your time? I haven't had a word of me son, Covel, since this brigand nonsense began, and I'm mighty scared that he got caught up in some trouble. We lived in Archit till recently, but we had an argument. I'm sure you know how boys are. And Covel left all in a huff. He said he would make his own way down in Combe. And that's the last I heard of him. Now that I've come to Combe, I hear he's gone east. If you don't mind, could you talk to Constable Wren for me? She watches the road east out of Combe, and maybe she's seen Covel pass. So we gotta go fight an adolescent and find a fishing pole. Not really the deeds worthy of legend so far, but uh, let's talk to a constable like this hobbit. A lovely day, isn't it? Torodon sent you, did he? It's good to have the hero of Archit on our side. The hobbit lowers his voice. There's still a Blackwold agent in town. We think he's trying to rebuild the band from among the local ruffians and bullies. We need proof though, a letter or a parchment would do if it came from the agent himself. Many of the brigands hole up in the Chetwood. Follow the road east until you come to the guardhouse, where Constable Wren is stationed. From there, head north and look for the brigands' watchfires, scattered through the wood. Search their packs for signs of their summons. Let me know right away if you find anything. We need to know what they're up to. How do you do? The Blackwolves have taken, taken up residence in the Chetwood to the east. You'd best begin your search there. Sounds good to me. Let's go fight some brigands in the middle of the Chetwood. Uh, I do believe there are a few other quests here as well. One thing I do want to change in my settings is trivial quest icons. Oh no, I'm actually just not high enough level for that quest from Burl Beeman right there. So these are the ones that we're going to be doing. Uh, let's go talk to... What's his face? Constable Sageford. He has some things for us. Would you do something for me? After the initial raids, when folk began fleeing for villages like Archit and Staddle, let me back up, it looks a little creepy. Uh, the Blackwolds found they could no longer rely on- Ah, dang it! That backfired. I think I hit a button wrong. Only upon raids to support themselves, they seized old Bowman's farm and began tilling the soil, though, badly and without care for the land. The brigands at the farm must be under the supervision of some Blackwold leader, else they would fall to laziness. Ah, brigands. They always need a strong guy to push him around. Sorry, I gotta send a text message real quick. Uh, if you confront the Blackwolds' leader at the farm, you might be able to recover some of the valuables they have stolen. Old Bowman's farm is deep in the Chetwood and at the end of the Eastwood Path. I would appreciate it if you could at least try. There are many folk who would benefit from the recovery of this treasure. Yeah, if they took it from Archer, we better get it back, right? Here we go. Stay a moment. The Blackwall Brigands are on the run, no question about it. They're trying to regroup at camps throughout the Chetwood, and they suffered a real defeat at Argent. The Brigands fled their old encampment up by Argent, carrying a large lockbox, which they brought to one of their smaller camps in the Chetwood, northeast of Combe. Uh, if we can get our hands on that lockbox, its contents could be used to help those who lost property to the Blackwolds. There is a number of watchfires along the road, so you'll need to find the right one. These villains have a great many debts to repay, Gormson. If you can return with the lockbox, the folk around here will be better for it. And part of our 100% of, I guess, Comb and the Chetwood would be to unlock some of the ruins up there. I believe there's only one, and it's the Blackwold Headquarters up on the path right here. I also want to choose my crafting profession now. So let's make sure to do that. What can I do for you? How can I be of service? So we can pick three. Let's go with the weaponsmith. What can I do for you? The prospector. What do you need? And the scholar, because I already have a character that can make my armor for me. So I'm gonna do that. But if you want to make your own armor and you're playing as a burglar like I am. What you would probably want would be the tailor and the uh, forester. And if you want anything, another thing, that would be maybe good too. But I just chose me? the woodworker on my other character. I don't know what would be the best choice. Can I speak with you a moment? Would you do something for me? But uh, with that going on... Greetings. Let's do the introductions. How can I be of service? What 
can I do for you? So these are basically open crates and then use them or use the school the tools or whatever. And I think the novice scholar is on the other side. So with this one we have to create a copper ingot. Nice. And then we have to use the smithing hammer and create a bronze sword, dagger, axe, or great sword. Let's go with, well, let's see what the benefits of each one is first. Sword, parry and in combat power reach, and dagger is probably better for me. Yeah, let's go with the dagger. It's good for us, and then the scholar will be the other way. But first, I'm going to turn that How in. Can I be of nice. Service? And we're going to turn this one in as well. Greetings. I'm not bothering to read these, if you couldn't tell. And the scholar is in the back room right here with all the books. Greetings, friend. So let's open the crate and use these scholar's glass. And there should be a study back here, right? Oh, I don't need a study yet. I think that's actually at a later level of scholar. So we need... A scroll of minor scholar lore, is that right? Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Greetings, friend. And now we're done that. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to go into my list here. And we're going to pick crafting tool. Oh, I'm lucky it was on sale, because I need to get the Enduring one. There we go. And, uh, I might as well just use this for now. But the reason I did that is because now I can get rid of all of these other ones. And my Virtue is getting picked, right? I want Wit. That's the one I'm going for. And now let me equip the Dagger. Offhand, I'll switch to the new one as well. Perfect. One more gift to open, and let me save Copper Ingot. Um, I'll save the Light Hides, because I can send that kind of stuff to my other character. So that'll help us out quite a bit. And now let's get out of here. There should be another uh, character real quick that has a quest for me named Taylor Green, I believe it is. Or no, Ted Pickthorn. Taylor Green is at the woodworking camp, and I was sent there last time. Uh, here we go, Ted Pickthorn. Might I take a moment of your time? My old dad was a robber some years back and got his hands on a good deal of riches, as I hear it. Constable caught him, but before he was hanged, my dad told me where he buried his loot. What a good lie. Uh, I never needed it before now, so I was content to let it stay buried, but I figure it's time to get me hands on worth enough to keep you warm and short, as me dear old dad called it. Can you take this pickaxe and dig the treasure up? Just uh, take the road east from Combe to Constable Wren's post up by the guardhouse. Climb over the hill on the right and walk down the riverbank where the hanging tree grows. It'll have an X carved into it. You'll be helping me make a new start of things and you'll have me everlasting thanks. Is the ghost of his of his uh, father going to come out and attack me for trying to steal the treasure? And then Ted is going to have to go out himself. And then his father will rebuke him as not being brave enough to go to the hanging tree, the site of his death. I don't know. Maybe there isn't that much put into it. <laughs> I'd be glad to write some stuff for you, Lotro. I kind of got the skill. At least I think I do. Test the water a little bit, have some fun. Uh, I'm also going to just pick up this copper up stuff. The one benefit of the Enduring Universal Toolkit is the fact that it kind of lasts... It makes the uh, speed of harvesting a little faster. Rude Brimstone is for metalsmiths, so I don't need that because I don't have... I don't wear metal. I can't. It's heavy armor. What can I do for you? I've heard that many of the Blackwold brigands, after looting Archit, fled into the Chetwood. It seems that the Blackwold leaders are angry. They feel that the raid might have been more successful if their followers had been less focused on filling their pockets and more on acting together. 
The main encampment is east down the road and then deep into the northern woods. I suspect that many of the black wolves uh, can be found within that camp. Mayhaps if you search in that area, you might find Gale's lost fishing pole. How can I be of service? Looking for Covel Woodwright, are you? I've heard something about the boy, but I can't say his mother's gonna like it. Uh-oh. He's joined up with the black wolves. Come on, bro. They're a gang. Don't join a gang. Don't... Uh, anyway, he hadn't been in comb for long when they took him either. He tried finding work around the town, but he didn't have the stamina for hard labor. If you can talk to him, you might convince him to give up his new line of work, but I doubt it. I wager you'll find him east of comb in the Chetwood. Just follow the path uh, from the lumber camp north and east. You're sure to f come across a black old camp or two up there. Thanks for giving me directions, all of you. There used to not be a quest tra tracker in the game, and that's why they talk that way. But... Uh, of course you know that there is one now, so it isn't that big of a problem anymore. Uh, I do kind of like the idea of using directions in video games. I think it's one of the things that made Morrowind fun and more fulfilling to the player. But I also fully understand why other people despise that system. Because, I mean, come on, we don't got all day to play video games, guys, like we did in 2003. Even though I wasn't even alive in 2003 or 2 or 1 when Morrowind came out, which is why I don't know when it came out. Uh, but I have played it. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna bring the pickaxe back and turn this way. Another thing I wanted to do is get this over here. <laughs> I forgot to do this, but I wanted to pick up the milestone. Here we go. Okay, I'm back. I purchased a milestone skill, so that's a lot of fun. What? They chopped down the hanging tree, and you dug at all the trees with an X? This is terrible. How will I ever find me dad's buried treasure now? I don't... Maybe the woodcutters at the lumber camp up east of here know which tree was the hanging tree. Thornton, you've got to have a word with Mason Thorne, the man in charge there. He just has to remember which of the stumps used to be the hanging tree. He just has to. The lumber camp is along the road, north of the big house. Please, I need that money to make a new start for myself. He was pretty desperate. I am going to invest in a crafting carryall when I get one. When I get access to one, I should say. Reduction tome, I don't need to use, by the way. Let me also destroy the scholars thing. Out of combat, regen. I'm gonna leave that over here. What can I do for you? The hanging tree. Oh, I remember seeing a few mm, hangings in my day. I uh, do believe I wrote the sight of the hanging tree down in my ledger. I write all down. I write down all the things I want to remember. Yeah, uh, so I can just look it up in. Well, bless me. I think I dropped my ledger in the woods not far from here. Yes, I remember. We were surprised by some of those black wolves, and I dropped my ledger on the road. I'd wager a captain of those brigands picked it up. There are quite a few campfires to the north and east along the forested road. You might find me ledger on one of them black wolves. Bring it back here, um, and I'll look up that thing you wanted to know about. A tree, was it? Uh, definitely fun to voice that guy. Although I think it's senility that makes it fun, but... It sucks when it happens to you, of course. And not looking forward to it, but... Yeah. I think I already got it. Some part. What can I do for you? Archit's woes did not escape us here in Combe, and it's good what Eero is doing, no doubt in that. But the evil of the Black World has spread, and now rests in the same wood where we need to collect the wood for Archit. 
I will see that we do what we can, but as you can see, we have troubles of our own. Could I speak with you a moment? Koma has always relied on this lumber camp for her livelihood, and now the people of Archit will be relying on us to supply the wood to rebuild their town, I expect. There's no shortage of work, that much is certain. We'll need to start taking down some of the trees to the northeast, along the cliffs. But there's a wolf den up that way that endangers our workers. But to deal with those wolves for me, it's not safe to chop down trees near there, and I'm afraid we might lose some of our best loggers. Follow the cliff wall, you'll see the wolves, or uh, they'll see you. They'll probably see me first, I'm very big and stupid. Those brigands took my farm from me. I've not done it now. Oh, no, that's old Bauman. He does have a farm. Oh, maybe we'll have to fight off the brigands. I'm sorry to trouble you, but will you help me? Have you heard that Archit gave them Blackwall villains what for? Kicked them right out, they did, and good on them. If little old Archit can manage it, I say Comb can do one better. And sweep them Blackwolds out of the Chetwood for good. Now, I lost me Sally's old chain when the brigands took over my farm. She's been gone for many a year, but the chain always did bring me comfort. One of them black wolves probably picked it up, and I want it back. Farms far to the east, just follow the road past all them brigand campfires. Uh, what's that? No, it's the, it's a chain, not a necklace. What a queer question. Here's a barter, a barter list, day. I meant to say. What are these, foresting events? Hmm. I don't know where those came from or where to get those. But I'm sure it doesn't matter too much for now. There are a lot of players online, so I'm probably going to be facing some lag. Good day. Might I have a word with you? My Uncle Philbert and I were having tea and discussing the state of things in Breland about how the folk in Argent showed the Blackwold Brigands a thing or two. When Uncle Philbert stood up and said, Someone ought to do something about these villains, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. And then he left without even finishing his tea. Up the road in the woods east of the camp, past the Brigands' watchfires, there's some ruins where the Blackwolds are holed up. Uncle Philbert has probably gone there to have a word with them, though I don't think he will make the full journey. He's not as young as he once was. If he has, he has likely got himself into trouble. I dare go no further to search for him, but could you go look for him and make sure he's alright? Yeah, sure, why not. So I have a lot of stuff to do up in this forest of, of uh, Chetwood it is. Yeah. And one of those things may not be collecting this copper deposit, but I'm going to get it anyway. Because more is always good. Now, it looks like there's a few spiders up here called Chetwood Spinners. I need to remember to use the food I have as well. Okay. Someone should do something about these black wolf villains. Definitely not you, sir. Get back home. Just a moment. Finally, someone respectable. I was beginning to think no one out here in the woods had any manners. Uh, I simply couldn't stand by any longer while the Black Wolves have had their way in the Chetwood. I marched right in and told them just what I think of their sort. They laughed me right out of their camp. Go back to Hobbiton, little boy, they said to me. I've never been spoken to like this, never. I wanted to leave something in that in something in that big ruin is a, is a bit off, I say. One ruffian, Cole Sickleleaf, he used to be a nice boy, took my handkerchief. Could you bring it back to me? He ran off to the ruins all the way to the east, between the frightening ruins to the north and, the, and that skunkwood's farm. Why would you take that, of all things? Why would you take somebody's handkerchief? A waste. It's, they've, it's been used. I don't think they understand. These stupid brigands. So now that we're in the Chetwood, I think we just have to follow the road until we get everything done, right? And I'm gonna pick this up from here. Ha! 
Now my run speed is damaged, so that's a problem. So they said follow the road in the forest, and it looks like all of my quest objectives are right here, other than the brigands, but the Blackwolds fort in the or ruins or whatever they are are probably going to be at the end of this road. And, oh look, I can collect the fishing pole if I go this way, so let's actually keep going this way. Maybe Skunkwood shouldn't have made a deal with those foreigners. Oh, Skunkwood, that's another brigand leader. I remember they were talking about him in the uh, Battle for Archer when we were there. Good to know Skunkwood is still relevant. There's a captain right there. Does he have anything I can use? No, he's just a captain. Maybe it was for a quest or something. This guy is the one who has Mason Thorn's ledger, though, so let's make sure to kill him. And this is one of the letters that Constable Underhill needed, right? The tyranny of an action needs silence you no longer. Cast aside the things that make you. Uh, bring three white shirts, two pairs trousers blue, and 200 copper burial money to Ellie Cutley. Oh, what is that? Covering up a murder? That's what it sounds like. There's another note I have as well, the ledger for Mason Thorne, the senile man. We disturbed a den of wolves today, and several of our woodcutters were almost lost to the beast. We will need to do something about the creatures. Our need for wood is too great, and it will only increase if the black wolves continue their attacks. We're a good way into the Chetwood now, and are scouting alternative locations for harvesting next. Needler is coming back with his report now. I sent him ahead to see if the black... Uh, hopefully it's somewhere else in the ledger. And... What I read is not all there is to it. Bauman's farm. Oh, I could have just kept going. I would have found it. Here's Bauman's farm. I don't know who else's farm that would be, especially considering there were no other farms mentioned. So that would be Sally's chain, right? And that supervisor right there is who we have to kill for valuables. Let's go and get the jump on him. Nice, I found a receipt. What does the receipt say? I thank you for your purchase, and hope you will find these strong boxes useful for storing any manner of valuables, including things of great fragility. I guarantee the lock on each strong box will remain secure against even the most dedicated of thieves. If you have any other locksmithing needs, be sure to let me know. Rurik. Who is Rurik? I guess we're gonna find out in the future. Uh, Filbert's handkerchief is probably this way, right? They said in the ruins east of the Blackwold camp, and it looks like those ruins up there are the Blackwold camp. Which means... The enemy we have to fight is probably up this way. Oh, and I do have a scholar node up ahead, so let's go get that as well. A shattered pitcher. Perfect. Pulsicle Leaf, that's the guy I was looking for.
Yay, we got that. Don't touch it too long. We should definitely bring it right back to him, because that's gross. You'll be sorry when Angmar comes knocking at your door. Oh, we have a hunter right there. Look at that. Pretty cool, Mr. Hunter. Covel Woodwright is outside these ruins up here. Yep. Just up ahead. That must be him. Please don't let another player get to him first, that's all I ask. What do you need? What's that? My mother sent you to find me? I I don't care. I've never been good at anything in my life, but now I found something I can do and do right good. You're going to regret coming into Black Bull territory. Uh, I think you're gonna regret thinking you're part of Black Bull territory, my friend. The jet will be your grave, stranger. You may have won this round, but I will never abandon the Black Bull. Ugh. I guess he's just gonna be out here now. Don't run into me again or it'll be your death, Kavl. I recommend you go home. The lumber camp is right up ahead. I'm very concerned about the state of things, very concerned indeed. What do you need? You at least have some decency. I thank you very much for returning my handkerchief and bid you a good day, as civilized folk I want to do. I'm going to stay here and keep an eye on these impolite troublemakers. Maybe it's the Turkish blood I get from my mother's side of the family, but it'll take more than insults to send me back into town unsatisfied. Perhaps my presence here will remind these ruffians what it means to live in Breland. If you can tell my nephew Posco that I'm fine, I'd appreciate it. Good day. I like that hobbit. But, uh, definitely make your way back. Bowman? Can't you leave me to my misery? You found my Sally's train and showed those black wool villains a thing or two? I don't doubt it. A lifetime of thanks, Gormson. Ah, Sally was a good hound. We'd go hunting in the fall and she could sniff out a coney from what seemed near a mile. It's good to have her chain back. It's all I got left of her now. Take these coins for your trouble, Gormson. My thanks. Oh, it's a dog. Okay. What was the other piece of trail food I had? I don't know. I think I ran out. Oh wait, no, there were mushrooms, that's right. Greetings. You took care of the wolves. That will make harvesting the trees by that den much safer. Rebuilding the burned buildings in Archit will require more wood than we have, and that's only one village. I don't think the black wolves have the numbers to try anything funny around Combe, but they're still staddle. Too many raids and we'll need to cut down the whole chitwood to make repairs. And these are, what, wolf pelt lake guards. Oh, wait. Wow. Way too green for me. I'm gonna probably just stick with the archit ones as far as cosmetics go. As I wear a green cape. But, you know, that's different. It is. Hello there. It's good to hear that Uncle Philbert is alright. He always says that I'll develop good hobbit sense when I get older. But if he's any example, I don't know that I will. Thank you for looking in on him, Gonson. Now we are level 10. Epic battles await? No, they don't. It's like way later down the line. How can I be of service? Oh, you found my ledger. Now that I can find that um thing you wanted. You must be it with you a moment. Let me just um, find the right page. Ah, here we go. I see. I see. So you stand in a field of stumps and um take this many paces. 
And then that many strides. Of course, I remember. The hanging tree was the southeasternmost tree in that bunch. Uh, it was standing there closest to the Stadel Falls. Now just um, go back to that stump field and you'll find that uh, thing you wanted. What was it you wanted again? You were digging for something, right? Here, take this pickaxe. It'll make it easier to dig. At least I could do. Finding that ledger and all. And we got to beat up some brigands too, so that's the best part, right? I be of service. He fought with Cobble Woodwright, but he escaped. Well, his sword will not be able to flee forever. I feel the time of the Blackwood Brigands is coming to an end. It seems I was right, and he will never give up his lawlessness. His mother will not be pleased to hear it. Oh, this is a healing skill, isn't it? Touch and go. Heals yourself and improves your defenses. So that's like an emergency skill. This one right here... Sorry, did you need something? Greetings. What do you need? Might I take a moment of your time? What can I do for you? Stay a moment. Thank you. 
can't you leave me to my misery? What can I do for you? Sorry, I think I just read a whole quest while my mic was muted. Uh, nothing I can do now. I did sneeze though, so maybe it's my fault, right? Oh wait, I hit my numpad. Oh, man, how long was I out for? Dang it, I hit my num my num lock, and I don't have that audio recovered now. I guess it's okay. It was out when I was equipping the knife thing. So I guess anyway, I got a couple Woodwright stuff fixed, I got, uh, I brought back all of the items that people were missing to the town. Rurik Fennel, a locksmith, and Comb under investigation now. So that's what's going on. Okay, now I should be good. Sorry about that. Good day. Uh, hello, what's this? Ellie Cutleaf? Well, I should have guessed. She's smart and disreputable by all accounts, and she's just the sort who might lead us to the Blackwold agent. She won't lead you to this Amdia fellow, I don't think, but it's a start. We must gain access to the leader somehow. He'll have the answers we seek. Might I have a word with you? Now here's an idea. Ellie is looking for new blood, so why not help her out? You can mask yourself as a ruffian and offer to join the Blackwolds. Gain her confidence, and we might find out where the Black World leaders are hiding. Of course it will be dangerous. Do you think you're up to the task? Ellie's house is in the north west corner of the town, by the pond. Sorry, I have hiccups. Uh, there are some large cages nearby. She breeds dogs, I think. Go and speak with her, and remember, you're a brigand. Oh, another thing we have to do is actually talk to that locksmith I mentioned uh, after I got my voice cut out. Uh, Rurik Fennel, so that'll be fun. Oh dear. Yes, my name's Rurik, yes, I'm a locksmith. What's this about? One of my strong boxes, recovered from a brigand with a letter? Ah, I see. I'd hoped that I saw the last of the Black Wolves. You must understand, I did not willingly help them. My business is in keeping things locked away, so I do not often ask questions of my customers. I filed an order for 20 strong boxes, and upon completion was visited by the Black Wolves. One, a tough fellow, took my master key and threatened my life if I talked. One of the others with him called him Applewood. Please tell the constable that any of aid was unwilling, and I only stayed silent because I feared for my life. Ah, well he gave us a lead, so I guess we're gonna head back into the Chetwood and kill that leader at some point. So that'll be a lot of fun. And it'll also help us unlock that one, right? All these people coming in from Archit must be an awful lonely place these days. I mean, we quote-unquote saved Archer, you could say. It is a burnt husk. But it could have been worse.
What do you need? Not another one. I thought I'd gotten all those let all those letters back. You'd be better served just going home. You don't want to join up with the Black Wolves. I listened to Skunkwood, their leader, and helped them breed some wolves. I admit I did it for the promise of riches, but I regret it. Jagger Jack is their head wolf master, and he had me breed the local wolf with one of them wargs. When they took me within their camp deep within the Chetwood, I got a fear right quick. There's something not right there. I've done something terrible, Gormson, and I need help getting out. Ah, well, she's on our side. Nice. And she's an insider, so that'll help us out quite a lot. Thank you so much, Ellie Cutley. And uh, Jagger Jack is a wolf master under Skunkwood, the friggin' name we've been hearing all over the place. Uh, the Dead Mother, I helped them breed it. Uh, it's kept at Skunkwood's farm in the North Chetwood. She needs to be killed before the next litter is born, else the pups would be worse damage to the Chetwood and the folk here. Alright, now we have a mission. Let's go and fight uh, the Wolf Mother, I guess, right? Yeah, the Wolf Mother. Okay, I just cleaned out my entire inventory, which is great news. So now that that's been done, make our way up to the Chetwood once more. Oh wait, I forgot, I need to talk to Constable Sagebird again, that's right. How can I be of service? While this doesn't help us get this box open and the valuables returned, it does speak well of Rurik. I feel badly that he felt as though we could not protect him, but with what happened to Archer, I understand his hesitation. Uh, let me think a moment on the name he gave us. Scouts are coming and going at all times. One may have mentioned seeing this Applewood. Might I take a moment of your time? Ah, yes, I remember. A scout returned a few hours ago and mentioned that there was an Applewood giving orders to the recruits. He then headed toward the Blackwold's main encampment in the ruins of the northmost part of the Chetwood. If Applewood has the key, then we should set about getting it from him to aid those who have suffered so greatly at the Blackwold's hands. Be careful, Gormson. Reports from near those ruins tell of a great sense of dread and dismay. You will need to be cautious if you are to attempt to find Applewood and obtain the key. When you find it, return to me and we shall see what good news we can bring to the people of Archard and Combe. So the quest is called Blackwold Thieves. And to get it, we'll have to kill a sergeant. I think his name was Applewood, it said. But that's a lot of fun. Anything uh, to kill more brigands, right? And to get more copper deposits as well. Let's make sure we do that while we're out here. Ah, dang it. Come here, bear. Gotcha. That must be Skunkwood's farm up ahead. So we should find the wolf mother inside. These are his hounds. 
Oops, see the dead mother over there. I'm also level 11. Perfect. Good fight, then. Although maybe my gear will make it a little shorter. Yep, that seems to be what happened. Since this is far out this way, we might as well finish up the other comb quests while we're out here. And I want to get that rich copper deposit. Oh, they aren't even chasing me anymore. How nice of them. I do have the return to comb skill available to me. That is a level 15 war. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill that. Let's also read the Black Bowl to headquarters because it does come up. It ruins a free land. It says, Long ago, this ruined fortress guarded Cardalon against the armies of Angmar and Rudar, but now it serves as the seat of power of the Black Bowl brigands. I've got a beating here with your name on it. Not anymore. Oh, come on. There we go. So, let's see. To be able to sneak in here and kill the sergeant. Let's see if it works. Okay, here he is. Come on. He's got a cool axe, though. Look at that. Alright, we got him. Well done, us. Or well done, uh, yeah, Gordon. I just say us, or me, or whatever. The character has the same name as my channel and me, so it's okay. <laughs> it's alright. I like this fly crate now. Usually my characters have different names, like Andamir. I, was, I could have said well done Andamir from the old series, but this is a new series now. Some of these scholar nodes are in like the worst places imaginable, and I think that's why they're there. They're just allowed to be placed there. And nobody went after them. Because why would you? Here we go. That's what I didn't want to have them. I might as well barrel into these idiots over here, because I'm gonna have to fight them anyway. We're messing with the wrong band! We have powerful friends! Yeah, I know that, I've seen them in person. And they didn't seem to finish off Archit, so they're not gonna finish off me either. Nice. that are like doing stuff you know like practicing archery talking to one another fighting each other doing brigand training you know quite helpful i do want to head back over here because i saw a supply crate over to the left and i want to pick that up i thought i did where is it I think it was out here, maybe. Somebody must have gotten it. That's probably what happened. Oh yeah, somebody definitely got it. Look at all those brigands. I swear I heard somebody else here, but I thought I was crazy. Turns out I wasn't crazy. Some other player actually got here.
Oh, right. I actually have... That's why I got this milestone skill, right? Might as well actually use it. What's your need? You found the strong box, and this one is locked as well. And do you see those scratches right here on the lock? RF, just like the other one. We need to get these strong boxes open, Clemson. I have just the thing. Don't worry, I found the master things? key. Thanks to Rurik himself. You found it. Excellent work. And I can say that we are pleased that there is one less black wall to worry about as well. Now, Gormson, we can find what the brigands hid away within the chest. You have done a wonderful job, friend, and deserve this reward. I'm not fully done yet, though. I have to still talk to Ellie Cutleaf. Probably to take care of the wolf problem. How can I be of service? Let's see. Ace. Go with the sword, I guess. Parry chance and agility is better for us anyway. Oh. I'm glad that you were able to defeat the Den Mother before she bore any more of those half orcs. Now there's just Skunkwood to deal with. He spends most of his time in the Black Bolt hideout these days. <coughs> there are dark skinned men who sometimes attend him. <coughs> Clearly not from these parts. And that Jagger Jack fellow. Honestly, the maze the mace looks pretty cool. But not as good benefit. Could I speak with you a moment? That there. This has better stuff, right? Bronze dagger. Yeah, go bronze dagger. It has vitality as well. When Skunkwood took me to the Blackwold encampment in the Chetwood, I met Jagger Jack. Jack is training the wolves of the Blackwolds. He keeps most of them deep in the ruins in the north parts of the woods. If we're going to put a stop to the Blackwolds, then we may as well need to do a little mischief of our own. I'm not one to do this, mind you, but we need to stop them wolves before they're used against Comb. Each a cartwheel can help us and will. Talk to him at his house, up on the cliff, south of Comb Scepter. Tell him that I need a poison to kill the wolves. Oh, I can equip my armor now. Let's do that. Now we mean business. Well, in a minute. <clears throat> Not done yet. I seriously sell these gloves? A fool. Okay, now I'm in business. <laughs> that looks pretty funny. I'm, I'm not gonna actually equip that though. Uh, nah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it on my uh, not cosmetic item list. But see how powerful we are now. A lot of fun. That's the benefit of crafting items. Hartwell? Greetings, friend. Ellie got herself in trouble, did she? I've been near the wood of late to gather herbs and such. Something as the animals there stirred up for certain. If this will help make things right between Ellie and the comb folk, I will help. I think I know just the thing. I'll need fresh honey, black water root, and several red berries. There are beehives behind the abandoned house south of comb. The berries grow pa in patches in a valley just over the hill behind the house. Black water root is found uh, near the wolf den in the north Chetwood. Sounds good to me. Oh. 
Honey's easy to find. Berries should be over here, correct? Go. The bears, I believe, also in this quest only threaten to attack me. Yep, that's right. So we can just easily walk past all of them, pretty much. Nice and relaxing, this game, sometimes. Even though we're plotting poisoning wolves, I believe. <laughs> so, maybe not as relaxing. Nah, it still is relaxing. The music is what does it. Ambient sound. And the little uh, clip-clop of the horse hoop. Blackwort roots are at the wolf den. So, uh, the same place that we were told about here. Dang, my time, my cooldown's already done. I might as well use my return to comb skill again after this. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately the wolves will attack me. Not just a threat. They mean business. Which, if a bear won't attack me and a wolf will, so much for man's best friend in that case. They've been getting too much easy hobbit, because hobbits probably couldn't outrun a wolf. They'd have to, like, stand and fight, and not every one of them is, like, uh, a took or a brandy buck, right? Or a baggins or whatever. So, that's what happens. Can I be of service? Ah, oh, there you are. It will be just a moment and I'll have the poison for you. Be careful with this. It'll not hurt you nor I, nor even the little folk, except perhaps to make us mildly ill. But the normal woodland creatures will suffer terribly if you don't use caution. You should return to Ellie and let her know the poison is ready. Already on it. Go do that. It takes a while for the horses to load in in this game, doesn't it? Ah, there we go. It's about time. I'm already basically here. What do you need? That dog is mad at me. You have the poison from Cartwell. I trust Cartwell. Not that we have any poison. Now that we have the poison, we may be ready to strike at the Black Wolves in their Chetwood home. Could I speak with you a moment? If I'm to help you, they've got to trust me. We need to deal with the wolves and their keeper, Jagger Jack. That warg, by the way, is probably the warg that she was talking about with the Ten Mother breeding with wargs and stuff. Uh, Jack spends his time talking to those strange dark skinned men within the ruins occupied by the Black Wolf. Find him and kill him, else he'll keep breeding his wolves with the warg. While you search for Jack at the camp, look for corpses or dead beasts, sheep or cattle or even deer. It's likely the poor creatures are food for the wolves. 
Use the poison on the corpses, we may well kill off a good number of Jack's beasts. While you deal with Jack and the wolves, I'll talk to Skunkwood and the others about a new recruit I found. I might be able to get you into Skunkwood's hideout. Oh, I have trait points to spend. Yeah, let's do that. Blind bet. After using a double-edged strike, make an attack that applies a blue gamble up to your target that reduces its offensive abilities. So that it's just this attack, right? go and get this copper deposit right here. Perfect. There are no enemies around it, so that's how I decided on this specific one. We'll get plenty of it as we go around the map. The Scholar stuff is a little bit harder. The easiest place to get that now is in the Before the Shadow expansion zones, which would be Swanfleet and Cardolan, I believe. Actually, Swanfleet's better. Uh, I don't think you can get the ones we need for our level in Cardolan, but Swan Fleet you can, and they have a giant, like, Elven City ruin up there. So that'll be very helpful in the future. It all depends on when I do it, it might actually be worthless by the time I go there. But we'll figure that out when we get to it. Okay, let me fight these two. <laughs> I like that skill. It does put that effect on, doesn't it? And we got some scholar items just for doing that, too. That was very helpful for us. Nice. Now up here is where the slaughtered sheep are. And there is a scholar node back here as well. Over there, get it. Perfect. And we can kind of just do our scholar crafting for now anyway. We don't need to study yet. Uh, we can kind of do it wherever we want right now. So that will be quite fun. And there are definitely some of these very dangerous wolves sitting up here. Did they mention Ellie mentioned dark skinned men? Oh, Angmarim. These are like the cult members, right? Of Angmar? So let's try to kill some of these guys too over here. And at the same time, avoid that wolf keeper. That was great. Alright, Jagger Jack. Your time of breeding is at an end. No, oh, you're not doing it. But the, the wolves are. That's a disgusting image. I should not have put that into, into anybody's head. I apologize. 
With that done, let's get out of here as soon as possible before we find out if Jagger Jack was indeed doing something sketchy like that. And, uh, one thing that I don't want to happen is dying, so let's hope we can get out of here in time. Someone's just gonna put a bleed on me, I can see it coming, right? No, if there's no bleed on me, this game is rigged in my favor. Ah, there it is. There we go. Ah, I didn't need to use the Atlas, though. Now that that's done... Oh, I hope you're following me. Dang, let me go! Let me go! Okay, perfect. Not you. I honestly could have just went back and killed as many of them as I could, and that probably would have been a little faster. Okay, finally they're gone. That one really didn't like me. Those milestone skills are great, man. They've a lot of time on this episode. Greetings. If you've been to those ruins, then you know now about the evil spreading through the black bolts. I was able to meet with Skunkwood, though, and he was talking to one of them strange men. He mentioned someone named Amdia. Skunkwood said that he would meet with you, but you'll need to be quick once Jagger's death is discovered. Skunkwood will become suspicious. Would you do something for me? So I'm gonna leave that one for the next episode, but uh, one thing I do want to get done is I want to get my crafting done for this episode, and then I'll log out uh, for tonight right inside Ellie Cutleaf's house. And I think that would be a good stopping place. So let's make sure that happens, right? I do want to go to the crafting hall, and I think I have to actually, just because of the fact that I need the Ford station. Here we are, the crafting hall. Uh, where's the real forge? Is this the real forge? Yeah, here we go. Battle lore increases my offensive capabilities. Right? Yeah. And then warding lore increases my mitigations. And how long do these last? Uh, 20 minutes. So I will keep these. I also want to make sure I keep Third Age Relics. Here are the other scrolls, nice. Now one thing I do want to get done is I want to head over to... Flyer! What do you need? 
Go to crafting ingredients and sort, I guess, by low price. And I want to get tin. Go. How much tin can I use? Let me check first. Bronze ingots, 23 tin. Perfect. Let's make 23 bronze. And now I'm actually getting critical rating for Prospector, which is pretty cool. And now I can use these and probably get mastery in uh, Weaponsmith for now. One cool thing I have is called the Crafting Companion, right? Oh, it doesn't doesn't count. Okay. It doesn't know what I have yet. But one of the cool things it does when you do have access to it, which I think it has to update after a logout or something, is it tells you how many uh, recipe successes you have left and crafting XP you have left to get the next level, and it'll recommend like what to craft. So it's a very cool little uh, plug-in. Go with that. Getting mastery also increases your critical chance rate on this specific item. And I got a level up too, which has destination free land unlocked. Which I'm not going to use quite yet. That says, oh, it just says go there. Okay, that's fine. Leave that alone then. And I have three crude whetstones as well. Maybe I can get two fine bronze daggers. I got one. And two, nice. Sometimes you don't get lucky on those. Yes, I want to switch it out. And perfect, we're all maxed out with our gear now. I think this is probably the first time I've had like 400 HP at this level, and it's just because of the gear that I'm wearing, so that's pretty cool. So let's head back to Ellie Cutleaf's house before we continue the epic story, and the continuation of the epic story will be the catalyst for the next episode. That's a cool horse. I think I actually have that one. One of the anniversary steeds that you can get just by logging in every year. You get kind of like yearly items or rewards or something. My account has like seven years or something. Yeah, I think it's seven years or eight years now. So those ones are pretty helpful. But let's go into Ellie Cutleaf's house. And alright, so I'm going to leave it here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please make sure to leave a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Lotro videos. And maybe other games in the future, too. Although I want to focus on this one for now. Uh, if you want to uh, join uh, the Gorm Army, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.